Leader Structure tab, Multi-Leader Style Dialog Box. Let's go up into our Multi-Leader Style Dialog Box. And so we're going to go to our Multi-Leader Style Manager. And we're going to modify a style. We're going to go up to the Leader Structure tab. In the Leader Structure tab, we have the Constraints sections. This max sets the maximum number of leader points. So we'll have, uh, in this case, the leader points will have two. So, in other words, we can only get a straight line out of it. If you go in here, you can set there to be three points and four points. So if you have a curved um, uh, leader structure, you can have more bends to the curve if you have four arcs to the curve. So uh, by default we have two. The first angle segment, in the first angle segment we can come down and pick in a list of a minimum of 15 degrees and our second uh, segment angle uh, we can go up to like 75 degrees and uh, so typically ASME does not want you to do anything smaller than 15 degrees and anything larger than 75 degrees so a lot of times companies might have a standard saying you cannot put a leader anything less than 30 and anything greater than 60 uh, ideally we like to have it at 45 degrees but um, you know this way here you can say well you know this way it helps hold that standard so that you're not by accidentally putting it anything smaller than 30 or greater than 60. Landing settings. AutoCAD calls this sh this part here, this horizontal part, the landing. Many people call it the shoulder. So the shoulder or landing is automatically included uh, when you put the multi-leader in and that's a good thing. We set the landing distance, that's how long this horizontal part is. And the landing distance uh, varies in, in company to company but it should be somewhere typically between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. Um, so uh, somewhere in there between one eighth of an inch or three millimeters or a quarter inch or six millimeters uh, is where we should have this setting to based on our corporate company standards. The scale, if we're using annotative items, we can set it to be annotative and we can scale the multi-leader to our layout. So whatever size our layout tab is, our annotative scale our layout tab is, that will automatically drive this. Otherwise we could specify a scale. If we're manually setting the scale, say at a quarter inch equals a foot, and our manual scale then uh, is at 48, we'd plug in this 48 here if we're doing architectural and we're doing it manually. And that would give us then a quarter inch equals a foot scale. So these are the this is the leader structure of the multi leader style dialog box uh, and we're going to get that by hitting OK and close and once again we got that from going right here in the lower right hand corner and going to modify of a style and we're on the leader structure tab.